Hey, what's up, collectors? We back with another one. This time we looking at a grail piece of mine. Michael Jackson. The DX03 Hot Toys bad version. And as you can see, we got the box here. The box is old. This is an older figure. And I bought it second hand. So the box ain't exactly mint condition, but it still looks pretty cool. You got the image of Mike on the front in his bad outfit, kind of a gray scale color scheme on the front. Got your side, your back with your warnings and a whole bunch of stuff that I can't read. So the box is pretty basic on the outside. You open it up. You got the magnet door on it and you get the Michael Jackson record, which I didn't know it came with until I actually got the figure in hand. Right here we have some words about MJ's albums. You're welcome to read that. Hit that pause button, but I'm gonna keep it moving. Got some information on the song Bad, 1987. But yeah, man, that's all the, uh, the art and the box, everything of that nature. Let's get to what we really came here for. The figure itself that's still pretty cool I got an actual record so we got Mike out the box and we gonna get his height y'all know how we do we got the ruler and we got the pop can and Mike stands about 11 and three quarters tall. Yeah, so as we all know, the older Hot Toys figures are slightly smaller than the ones we get today since Hot Toys updated their scale. But he's still a pretty good height and he still looks good, especially as an older figure. You always run the risk of getting some junk when you buy older figures. All right, let's keep it moving. Here's Mike with my other two MJ figures. Of course, y'all know the other two are from Thriller. This is the stock body on this one. And this is the extra clothes that comes with the set. And I put the head and the clothes on a generic body. I gotta find a better body, but it's hard to find a skinny body that looks right as a Michael Jackson figure. So still working on that, but I'm not worried about it at the moment. But yeah, this is my MJ collection at the moment. And they, uh, they all look pretty good together. Man, I remember growing up, knowing all the dance moves for this Thriller video. Knew some of them for the bad video. But, uh, man, good times. All right, moving on. All right, here's another comparison. Had to do this one. <laughs> if you know, you know. All my hip hop heads, y'all already know what inspired this right here had to do it all right final comparison mj with iron man mark 85 and war machine mark 6 i'm pretty sure most collectors got an iron man or a war machine in their collection so there you go for scale all right so let's take a look at mike's accessories comes with the instruction book 
that you got right here. So it tells you about the base, the light up features, what type of batteries you need for it. Didn't even know the base lit up until I read the instructions. Tells you about how to swap out. Tells you how to move the eyes, which I like. You can move the eyes on this bad boy. Tells you how to change out the clothes. How to put the base together, which is pretty easy. So yeah, that's pretty much the instructions. You get the base with the crotch grabber. Got the base, MJ nameplate, Icon DX. I'm guessing the M stands for Michael. You got the light spots. And I'm gonna put some batteries in this thing and light it up when I get a chance. That's the battery compartment right here. Simple screwdriver, Phillips. Get that open for you. And I like the base, the textured feel. And it gives you like that tile look from the subway. You know that's where he shot the video in the Brooklyn subway. So it kind of gives you that feel of the ground that he was standing on, dancing on, all that good stuff. So yeah, it's pretty cool base. All right. You get your t-shirt and your button down shirt for the change of clothes short sleeves and it looks like I got like a small stain on the arm but it doesn't look like it was removed from the packaging ah, that sucks I don't know do you send a shirt this small to the dry cleaners I don't know you tell me I'll probably never put them in these though because I don't plan on taking them out of the clothes these in that still sucks that's the problem with buying figures that's that's old and second hand you risk little stuff like that I prefer not to buy my figures used and old but again this figure has long been out of print and they're not making any more so the only way you're gonna get it is to buy it off somebody who already owns it nature of the beast but you get those you get the additional wrist pegs so all right you get your additional hands with different hand gestures for example you got the pointing finger on here and these gloves are very well done with the black gloves and the fingers out nice paint job on them got the belt buckles the spikes each of the there you go so y'all can see the details on that so yeah they did a good job on the paint and the details of each of these hands look at that let me see yeah nice job hot toys and no gloves is the same this one has spikes on it this one doesn't different hands different sides yeah they did a good job these look similar both for the same side but slightly different hand gestures. So yeah, I'm guessing it's the Chamo hand. Chamo! That's what it looks like. Yeah. I think that's the last one. So yeah, they snap with the hands. You got the two that's already on the body. And then how many hands was it? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you got seven additional hands the hands on the body, the shirts, the base instructions, plus don't forget you get a record also. So yeah, he has a nice amount of accessories. 
I can dig it. All right, let's move on. All right, let's check out Mike's articulation. So we're going to start with the head. Of course, you know he has the eyes that move. So we're going to check that out first. So to do that, we simply go to the back, pull off the hair, which is attached with a magnet. Y'all see the magnet right there? And he has a button right here. I don't even know if y'all can see that because of how dark it is. Let's see. The button is the same color as the inside of the head, which is black, so it's hard to see it. But it's a, it's a switch in here. And you move that switch, and it makes the eyes move. All right, now y'all can see the eyes. I'm going to make a move to the other side. Got him looking up like he's crazy. Let's see. Let's move him down. Make him look down. <laughs> that looks crazy, man. Damn. All right. And then you can make him look off to the side. Uh-oh. And I knocked the little switch off. That's not good. Damn old figures, man. All right, y'all can see I got the eyes flicking off to the side. So yeah, he has the articulated eyes, which is like real cool and creepy at the same time. All right, let's get back into the rest of the articulation. Head can spin. Probably can get it 360, but it's gonna bump this hair. So it's going to be a little hard to do, but as I always say, no human being's head goes around 360 degrees anyway. Let me fix this jacket. I'm going to mess this jacket up with the hair. I'll come back and fix that later. Arms up to the side. And that's probably as far as you can get them. Because of the clothes, double elbow. Let's see how far can the arm move around. So the arm is hindered from going any further than that because of the jacket. Go back that far though. So let's see. It's on a ratchet. Yeah, it's on a ratchet, but even still, the clothes is hindering it from doing too much crazy movement. You uh wrist swivel up and down on the hand because of the ball joint. So you got the ball joint in there, so you can do a little bit of movement on it. Of course, you don't have articulated fingers, but you got all the different hands. Uh, you got the ab crunch, waist rotation. You got a whole lot of stuff around his waist and hips. So with the pants on, that's about as far up as you're getting being hindered by the pants. Get the knee bend, double knee, but you know the pants, the clothes, all that is uh, hindering it a little bit. So you're not about to have Mike doing a whole bunch of crazy poses. Foot can go down, can go up, tilt and rotation so I think that's decent articulation like I said the clothes get in the way of a lot of it so I mean you either want the look or you want the movement ah, alright that's it for articulation let's move on 
All right, let's look at Mike's head scope. I think they nailed the eyes, the nose, the lips. I'm not quite sure about the cheeks. I mean, straight up, it looks just like Michael, but I don't think it's an exact, you know, representation of him. But again, like I said earlier, this is an older figure. So this is back during Hot Toys early days. And although this is a great scope, the scope work they do now blows out the old scope work they did when they first started doing figures. And I think this is DX03, so this is real early in the, in the Hot Toys, you know, run of doing recreations of people and characters. Bringing this review to a close, get my final thoughts. Love the figure, love the way it looks. Think they did a bang up job on the head scope. Love the eye feature. They nailed the outfit, all the different buckles, the belts, the boots. I mean, they, they snap. I mean, if you go around the entire figure, Dan D nailed this iconic look of Michael Jackson from the bad video. All right, I got my score. Game of four. I would imagine in 2010, I probably would have gave this figure a five across the board. But it's pretty solid, nevertheless. This is one of my grails. Glad I was able to get it. And that's it. So you all make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Remember, that's free. Don't cost you nothing. And we're going to get up out of here. I'm probably going to go watch the video now. Probably watch Thriller and see if I can still do some of those moves. If y'all don't see another video on this channel, then y'all know what happened. I hurt myself trying to still dance to Michael Jackson's Thriller. <laughs> I'm going to get up out of here and remember... When they ask you, why do you still collect action figures? You tell them, because I can. I'm a grown ass man. Peace.